It is a good thing to be about our father's business. Would you agree? I want to tell you about a time that, that I had a small group, and this was back in Georgia. This was a Friday. It was about maybe 3 p.m. And we were accustomed to having small group Bible studies at 8 p.m. So I'm looking at the sky. It's about 2, 3 p.m. now, and things are they're getting darker. Um, so it's getting more cloudy. Um, so rain starts to come in. And when it's about 4 o'clock-ish, it's really dark. Um, really, really dark. Um, you can hear the thunder. You can see lightning flashing. Um, the rain is coming down pretty hard at 5 p.m. Um, same thing. Everything's um, getting really dark. So I remember thinking to myself and um, praying to God, you know, there was, I can't recall exactly what the Bible study was about, but I can say this. I was really impressed that whatever that study particularly was for that day, I wanted to share it with um, the youth group that I had, um, different high school, college age um, youth. So I felt really impressed to want to share it. And I, I made, that, I made that, um, that thought available to God. I expressed it in prayer. So what I had done was, God, I feel really impressed to share this message tonight at 8 p.m. So I want to ask something of you. If it is your will that, that these um, will hear this message or will study this out in our Bibles, then um, not only do I want to stop raining, I had mentioned in prayer that I want God to transform the environment completely. I want to go from stormy to blue skies with the sun outside. And now, uh, so here I am, I took a few screenshots on my phone. Um, what's interesting is that when I went to the weather app, 5 p.m., 6 p.m., chance of rain, 100%. So it went from 6 p.m. to 7, 8, 9 p.m. It went from chance of rain, 200%, to chance of lightning and thunder, 100%. So on the app anyways, things seem to go from bad to worse, right? So um, the church is about 30 minutes away from my home. Uh, small group starts at 8 p.m. It's about 7.15ish at this time more or less, and um, I go outside um, because it's, it's all of a sudden not that dark anymore. As I look up, it's very gray still. I'm gonna, you know, I have to point that out. It is still very gray, very, very cloudy, but there's a little opening, and in this little opening, I can see the sun. But it's still very, it's mostly covered. Um, it's still very gray outside. So I decide by faith, you know what, I'm going to church. I'm, I'm gonna go, whoever wants to go will be there, and I'm gonna go. So I get to the church, um, about 30 minutes later, now it's, it's probably around 740-ish, um, 745, about that range. So I get there, I park in the back parking lot because this was summertime, by the way. And um, in the small group, we had a habit, when the weather permitted, to go outside and be able to study the Bible, you know, outside with the fresh air. Um, so I park the car, I get up, I look up, and, you know, the ground is still relatively wet, but I can see it, you know, more hues of blue, you know, the clouds are just separating a little bit more. And by the time it gets to be 8 o'clock, I decided to take a panoramic uh, photo of the sky. And I must tell you that, you know, God answers prayers because the dark was gone. It was bright blue, the sun was out, the ground was fairly dry, and we were able to have a great small group. Uh, but not only that one time, I'd like to briefly tell you of another time. Uh, where we did an outreach uh, with the youth group as well. This was a Sabbath now, a particular Sabbath. So what we wanted to do, I believe it was a, uh, we wanted to go out with the community. Um, typically we have been used to visiting people at their homes, hospitals, you know, a lot of things indoors. But this particular outreach was gonna be outside and we we're gonna be engaging people, speaking with them directly. This was, uh, to me, an exciting opportunity. So, um, same thing, the situation. I remember it was a Sabbath I'm during church. It was raining. Uh, a rainy day. Um, you know, we want to be outside. Rain kind of drives people away to stay in their homes and indoors, things of that nature. So, what happens was a few uh, other youth would come up to me and they would ask, hey, are we still going to be having outreach? And my answer at the time was, time will tell, we'll see. Um, I couldn't give a definite answer because, you know, I had to admit as everybody else that, yes, it, it was raining and, and it may not be too successful. So, there was going to be a potluck um, for those participating um, right after the church service. And, um, you know, to be what it be, and then from the food we would go out to 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 do outreach. Now, what happened was that um, I decided to, instead of going in to eat with them, I decided to walk around the church. It was drizzling at this point; it wasn't raining too hard. So um, I decided to walk around the park around a little bit. I got a little bit wet, but really not that much because it was it was drizzling. It was still very cloudy and raining, uh, cloudy, um, not too dark, but you know, just just not very bright either. So what 
have when I decided to have a conversation with God and, and there was a certain area, like let's say we're facing away from the church, so it would be in this direction that we're going to do the outreach, we're by the highway, um, you know, roads leading different places. So the area was over there that we wanted to have the outreach. I was walking around the park lot just in conversation with God and I want to say like God, we have plans for some time and there's some people we want to reach, there's some people we want to talk to. Um, if that is your will, I want to make a specific request. I want the clouds over there to go that way. You know, they can, the clouds may go this way, this way, as long as it's not a disturbance to others. But I want this area to clear up. I will keep walking, I will keep praying, I will keep conversing with God. And, um, you know, things look to be staying pretty much um, the same. So time is advancing. Eventually, I think some people know it's like, hey, um, Jose is not eating lunch with us. Where is he? So somebody comes out and they, they, um, they ask me, uh, have I ate yet? I said no, and you know they said they fixed me a plate, um, you know, to so that I could eat something. Um, but I was kind of distracted. I, I might have been hungry, but my mind was just focused on something else. And I asked the first person to, um, you know, to come and check it uh, on me. I pointed to the tree. You know, typically when it's not windy, trees are pretty still. You can see the background. And I said, hey, can you look at that tree for me? But like aim at the sky. I'm um, look at the branches. And do you see anything moving? And this person was like, I can see clouds moving. It's very interesting that where the where the tree was and where the clouds, you could see that they were moving away from the area that we were that we had planned to do outreach, and I think that's pretty incredible. About ten minutes later, somebody else comes out, same reason, you know, just to check out. Hey, how come you're not inside eating with us? And you know, I just point them to the to the same tree, like, do you see that tree? And they're like, yeah. Do you see what's going on behind the tree? Like, yeah. Seems that the, you know that area is pretty blue compared to the others, and the clouds are still moving. So I felt it, you know, pretty incredible that not only was I able to, you know, have this prayer, but others were able to see, I believe, God at work intentionally moving clouds away from the area we would do outreach. And as I recall it, it was a very um, productive day. It was a day that definitely um, a lot of us were, were happy with. We were able to talk with people. We were able to, uh, we were able to do different things. And for that, I am grateful. But um, these things I shared, so to demonstrate that our God is real, He does answer prayers and Something I wanted to share with you.